What's going on here, Baron? Well, I think you said it, Heidi. We're here protesting. We're marching uh, on the Mexican consulate, telling them that one gallon of their sewage is too much in our country. It's gone on too long, and we're not going to take it anymore. This is just the beginning. We're calling for sanctions for sewage. Close our beach. Close your border. Do not let them into NAFTA. Kick them out of NAFTA. At best, renegotiate it. Okay, so, so what, what's been happening? How, why are we complaining? How, how bad is this problem, Baron? The problem's bad and it's getting worse. We've had 13 sewage spills since the main event in February. February this year? February this year, that was the main event. What, tell us about that main event, for those that don't know. That main event was something else. It was uh, environmental and biological terrorism on the people of the United States from the country of Mexico in the form of dirty bombs in raw sewage, toxic industrial waste, toxic medical waste, trash, anything they could throw at us. They did it and they still do and we're <laughs> sick of it. We're sick of it. So how many gallons uh, are estimated to have showed up at that particular big spill and how long did it last? Can you tell me more about it? Well, cesspit. Tijuana Sewage and uh, Water Company is, is copying. They're admitting to 28 million gallons over a four-day period. An IBWC report that was issued on March 1st, or no, it was April 1st, gives a tale of 256 million gallons that didn't make it into their system. So there's 256 that's basically unaccounted for, plus 28. My math says that's 284 right there. And I can tell you where every drop of that sewage went. It went across the border at various points into the Tijuana River through the estuary and out to the Pacific Ocean and all the way up into San Diego Bay. That's right. And and uh, did you were you down there the, at the beach when the, the, the ocean was literally brown? The ocean was trashed. It was brown. I couldn't even breathe the air. My eyes were watering and I almost puked. I couldn't even make it to the sand, let alone the water's edge wow. on February 28th. 2017. And this was after how many days of non-stop continual sewage flow? From the 6th of February to the 23rd and this was, I'm talking about five days after it supposedly stopped. Wow. They never told us. And why didn't we hear about it? What was going on with that? What? Well, I mean, we it just, knew, it's, right? it's, it's just indicative of the Mexican government um, and their lack of stepping up, claiming responsibility not adhering to treaties and minutes that they've signed over the years, including Minute 283, Recommendation 16, which says they are responsible for any seepage, any discharge of sewage into the United States from Mexico, that they are responsible for repairing the cause of, this, of the, the discharge, and that if they cannot handle it, to reach out to the United States and ask for assistance and resources. They've done none of that. They still, to this day, do none of that. We have to learn our own to IBWC a lot of the time that there is something happening in the river valley. The Tijuana River Valley is no longer a river valley. It is a sewer. OK, so so I understand that several people contacted our governor to complain about our problem. Do you know what happened with that? Yes, I do. We contacted Governor Brown's office when he was halfway around the world in China with jurisdiction to play American diplomat halfway around the world. And his office told him that the governor has no jurisdiction on cross-boundary sewage, that it's IBWC's sole responsibility and jurisdiction. They are the sole jurisdiction of that. And no. we asked him why he could, we asked his office why he could declare a state of emergency on something he doesn't have any jurisdiction over. And better yet, how can he play American diplomat with jurisdiction halfway around the world in China? They told us at that point, that they would have to terminate the phone call. Okay. All right, well, thank you very much. This is Baron Hartlow from Stop the Poop. And what's the message you want to tell the world right now? One slogan, if anything? Stop the Poop! That's right. Ooh. It's killing us.